a curve with polar equation r equals five, divided by the quantity nine sine theta plus seven cosine theta, represents a line graphed here in blue. We want to find the Cartesian equation or rectangular equation of the line in sloped intercept form, or the form y equals mx plus b. So we start with our polar equation, r equals five, divided by the quantity nine sine theta, plus seven cosine theta. We want to write the equation so that it only has x's and y's, not r's and thetas. Before we do this though, let's write r as r over one. Since we have two fractions equal to each other, we have a proportion, and therefore we can cross multiply to write an equivalent equation without fractions. We would have r times the quantity nine sine theta plus seven cosine theta equals one times five. So again, r times nine sine theta plus seven cosine theta equals five. Let's go ahead and distribute. We'd have nine r sine theta plus seven r cosine theta equals five. And now I'll perform a substitution for sine theta and cosine theta. Since y equals r sine theta, sine theta would be y divided by r, and since x equals r cosine theta, cosine theta equals x divided by r. So for this first term, we'd have nine r times sine theta, which again would be y divided by r. Notice how here the r's would simplify out, which we'll do in the next step, plus seven r times cosine theta. Cosine theta is x divided by r equals five. And now we'll simplify again. Notice how the r's simplify out. This would be r divided by r, which equals one. And these two also simplify to one. So now we have a Cartesian equation. We have nine y plus seven x equals five. So now we do have a Cartesian equation, but we're asked to add it in sloped intercept form. So now we'll solve this for y. So for the first step, we'll subtract seven x on both sides. That would give us nine y equals negative seven x plus five. And for the last step, we'll divide both sides by nine. So the equation of the line in sloped intercept form would be y equals negative seven ninths x plus five ninths. So looking at the line again, notice how the y-intercept does appear to be five-ninths. And notice how the line is decreasing, meaning as we move to the right, the line is going downhill, verifying we do have a negative slope. And therefore our graph does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.